Welcome back to Norm Scott's Let's Not Play. I'm Norm Scott, and we are still not playing Resident Evil 6. Now, thus far, we've been looking at zombies and our interactions with them. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's mostly killing them. But in this clip, we see some drama, and it's not just any drama, it's Resident Evil drama, and that means it's, it's pretty bad, is what it is. Up and over. I find it interesting that this uh, that this is the one thing that's really stayed consistent uh, across the various iterations of the franchise. The uh, the games themselves, the gameplay, the graphics, those have all gotten very sophisticated. The uh, it's not the same series as it was at the start, but but the writing has stayed absolutely terrible. They have really honored that tradition. <laughs> Leon, you are straight insane. <laughs> Glad to see you're alive, baby. Here's a door in your face. Now, I don't know how much of that can be blamed on the Japanese original and how much of that uh, just comes from seeing how much work they can squeeze out of an intern without having to, you know, actually pay an American writer or a, uh, you know, real voice actors. But, uh, the results speak for themselves. Okay, we are now approaching the drama, so I'm going to uh, shut up just for a second and let you experience some of this raw. Survivors, come on. We have to help them. Die, you cannibal freaks! Where the hell are they coming from? First day is coming already, I'm going to shoot out. There you go, that's the magic. I'll die before I become a zombie. Technically true. <laughs> I like that, where they they pan back and they're both just standing there for a split second before they do anything. They, like they both got distracted. That was weird. Did you see that guy? If you want to live, stop trying and shoot those damn things. Aim for the hands. You're a cop, right? You can handle a gun. It's my first game, man. How can I aim in all this craziness? <laughs> it's my first day. How can I aim in all this craziness? Apparently, this city gets its cops and it gives them their firearms training on the job. You know, why waste time in a range? Seems like kind of a cheat, doesn't it? You, you lose a quick time event so a truck hits you. What happens if you made the quick time event? What was the, uh, I mean, what was the stimulus there that affected the truck? Was he trying to kill the zombie and you were just in the way? Like, do you knock out the zombie and then you hold up your hand and say, no, oh, we're good here now. And the truck driver's off. <laughs> okay, buddy. Catch you next time. That's one thing about Resident Evil, though, that I'm, uh, at least for the American version, I think they I think they're consciously playing it safe. Uh, like they do they clearly do strive to become a serious game, but at the same time, I think they leave all the the cheese in as a buffer so if any of their stuff doesn't come off particularly successful, they can point to it and say, "No, no man, it's satire." Which is a smart idea, by the way. But it is technically cheating. And, you know, frankly, make an A movie once, and then I will accept that you are intending to make a B movie. And that's how I ended up making out with my stepmother. Not a great idea in retrospect. You don't have many friends, do you, Otakon? Well, my stepmother seems to like me. Snake, you can both discuss this later. In group therapy. 